uh, chapter 10 and we finished chapter 10. Okay, and now we'll take chapter 11. Uh, we are used to meet the academy vocabulary first and analyzing and this. So uh, we will start with the academic vocabulary, then we'll take the connection and then we go back to the preview concepts. So let's, I'll share the PowerPoint for you. Uh, wait a minute, here is it. The excerpt is the word, word of the words, okay? But we are used to meet the academic vocabulary first. Uh, did I share it? Uh, I didn't share. Here is it. Okay. Now you see the PowerPoint, girls? Yes. Okay, as we said, the excerpt is word of the words, but before we start the excerpt, we meet the academic vocabulary. Okay, the academic vocabulary, the first one is antagonists. Antagonists, and we've discussed it before. We have in any story, we have protagonist and we have an antagonist. Antagonist is the character that opposes the other character, like uh, a Lion King, who was the antagonist for Simba. Did you watch Lion King? His uncle. Yes, his uncle, Scar. Right? He is the one who killed his father, Mufasa. So in Lion King, we have uh, Scar, his Simba's uncle, is the antagonist. So who is the protagonist? Um, Simba's father. Simba, Simba, Simba. Simba, the main conflict was between Simba and his father because Simba would take the throne of after his father. Okay. So here, uh, again in Harry Potter, do you watch Harry Potter, girls? Are you fans yes. of Harry Potter? Yes. Uh, did you watch yes. the whole uh, episodes? Oh, there yes, are seven yes. or eight? Yeah. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Uh, uh, who was the antagonist for Harry Potter? Voldemort. Yes. So antagonist, group of people who oppose the protagonist. In Harry Potter, antagonist is Lord Voldemort. Okay, so now we take antagonist, now characterization. Characterization, what is characterization? Okay, uh, Harry Potter is fiction, right? Because it doesn't happen in real life, it didn't happen before. What is fiction? We said yes. before that fiction is when the author sits with himself and with himself and he thinks, I want to write about the uh, uh, a young magician who has been raised by his uh, uncle, who's, who will go to this uh, school. And so he, she, the author, because the author for uh, Harry Potter is a female, she, what she sat with herself, she thought of all of these uh, events. And then she decided to build the characters. To build a character, she has to give him characterization for each character there should be characterization and this is the antagonist this is the protagonist this is a catalyst like uh, the friend of harry potter uh, this is the um, the uh, this one the the principal of this uh, school okay so as you are a reader when you are a reader the author when you read uh, harry potter or, or when you watch the movie did the author wrote in the lines the antagonist Voldemort? What's his name again? No, she didn't, draw, uh, she didn't try it. Yes, write, from right? the yes, from any, um, any. You conclude that. You enter that. You conclude that. You know that. Excellent. So you infer that this is an antagonist and this is a protagonist. This is a good guy. This is a bad guy. This is the smart girl. Uh, this is. How can you infer that? How, how can you know that? Girls? From the how story, from know? the details. Yes, other girls than Hoda, please share with me. Only Hoda with me. From textual evidence. Yeah, from, from textual evidence. So what the author writes about the character of his actions gets you to know his characterization. This is, this is called the characterization. He builds the character through his words, through his thoughts, through his feelings, through his actions. Okay? 
and okay. what others might think of him. This also builds what you understand and how do you understand the characterization or how do you understand the character? Like here, guys, uh, there was um, there was a picture, but then I erased it. There was when he says to you that we have two girls, a girl who walks or uh, by the sidewalk and a girl who texts while she walks. So you understand that the girl who texts while she walks is what not careful as the girl who walks uh, curve, uh, by the sidewalk. So from the action of the characters, I can understand who they are. Hi, Miss. Hi, dear. Are Miss, you all here? Yes. I'm sorry I arrived a little late today. I had a problem. It's okay. It's okay. So are you still following? So we were discussing the antagonist. We just started here. We discussed the antagonist. Antagonist is the person who opposes the protagonist, the hero of the story. Like in Harry Potter, it is Lord Voldemort. And we discussed the characterization, how the author gives special traits, special uh, characters to each one. Okay? Then the conflict. Conflict is the struggle between the opposing forces. Usually, it is between a, prota a protagonist and an antagonist. So in Harry Potter, we have Harry. Harry is the protagonist. And we have Lord Voldemort is the uh, antagonist. He is the one who is opposing Harry. The conflict came, so this is an example, the conflict came when Harry Potter was captured by Lord Voldemort. So now you understand antagonist, characterization, conflict? Yes. Okay, we move to the last academic vocabulary for this chapter is rhetorical question. What is rhetorical, girls, before we discuss rhetorical many times? What is rhetorical? Anyone by but Hoda, please. Anyone? Must ask the question? Yes. What is the question? What is the meaning of rhetorical? We talked about it in solitude of self. Yes, we talked said. about rhetorical in solitude of self. What is rhetorical? Miss, yani, it's like yani, I asked a question. I don't want to understand what is a rhetorical question. Miss, I like only the word art? rhetorical. Related no. to art? Uh, Miss, you say something a lot like this. Yes, the ethos, the pathos, the logos, yeah. they were what for rhetorical? What is rhetorical? Rhetorical is to what? To persuade. Rhetorical is to persuade. Yes. Okay. So, rhetorical yes. questions. So, to make a statement. Yeah. Oh, here. Yeah. Here. Rhetorical is to persuade. Rhetorical question is to ask a question. But the, the purpose for this question is to persuade how, how, uh, when you ask a question, but you are not waiting for an answer. Why did I do that? Uh, why did I open here in the picture? He says, why did I open my mouth? He is not waiting for a reply. Yani, if a friend had a, if your friend had a fight with her sister and then she came to you and she tells you what happened, blah, 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 blah. blah. And then she says, why did I open my mouth? Is she waiting for an answer of you? You will give her an answer. You opened your mouth because you wanted to express it. And no. So rhetorical question, but what, what, why she asked this question? She asked this question to stress a point, not to get an answer. Like she doesn't an want an answer. Yes, not, not, she doesn't want an answer. So rhetorical question, questions that is asked, not for an answer, but to make a point. So, for example, if a speaker is giving a speech and she wants to encourage or persuade people of doing something, so she says, "What? Why wouldn't we support this cause? Maybe they want to stop using uh, gasoline to kill bees." So, at the end, she says, "Why wouldn't we support? Stop it?" She is not waiting audience to reply her. No, she is convincing them that we have to do this. 
So a person who blames himself, he asks a question and he is not waiting for an answer. This is a, a device in persuasion, rhetorical devices, which is called the rhetorical question. That you ask a question to attract people's mind, to make them focus with you. What do you want to say? You, you understand, girls? Yes, miss. Yes, ma'am. So, again, what do I want? Uh, uh, what did we take? Antagonist? Characterization? Conflict? Rhetorical question. Malika, what is a conflict here, Malika? Malika is not here. Ragad is here. Ragad. Yes, Miss. Ragad, you're here. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> what is a conflict here, Ragad? What? What is a conflict that we've just said? A conflict. A conflict? Yes. Um, the problem. Yes, the problem here. What is a conflict? The problem between whom and whom? The problem between... Uh, I don't know between what, between whom. The protagonist and antagonist here. Uh, okay, I, I, I thought... Uh, okay. Judy, who is the antagonist here, Judy? Miss, can I answer? Yes, please, Moi. Between uh, Voldemort and uh, Harry? Yes, this is the conflict, but who is the protagonist? Miss, can I say? Um, protagonist, who is the protagonist and who is an antagonist? You say on the, the Serena, say the antagonist. Uh, the antagonist is like the, you know, the character in the story who's like, I don't know how to explain, but it's like the characters. Like here, like here, that they like here in this picture, Harry or Voldemort? Ha, uh, it's ha, uh, Voldemort. This. The Lord Voldemort. Antagonist is the person who opposes the protagonist. So Maya, who is the protagonist here? Harry. Harry. And antagonist is Myth? from the word anti. Anti yeah, is uh, opposing. But should all the antagonists be evil? No. 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 Okay. Yes, Miss? Yes. I didn't answer because the mic was not working. Okay. 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 So now we took the academic vocabulary. Then, girls, we used to take uh, the preview concept before making connection. But this time, I want to make, take making connection first, and then we apply it to preview concept, which will make it easier for you. Okay. So I will start with you here. Uh, by Jane Eyre. Wait a minute. Jane Eyre. You see Jane Eyre, girls? Yes. Jane Eyre is one of the classics. So, uh, those girls who like to read Nancy, Lujain, Nirvana, have you read it before or heard about it? Jane Eyre? I, know uh, I haven't read about this. You heard about it, but you, you, you didn't read it? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, so uh, Lojaini, please read it, the slide in front of you. The Okay. okay. Uh, Jane Eyre is a young orphan being raised by Mrs. Reed, her cruel, wealthy aunt. A servant named Bessie provides Jane with some of the few kindness she receives, telling her stories and singing songs to her. One day, as punishment for fighting with her, with her bullying cousin, John Reed, Jane's aunt imprisons Jane in the the Red Room, the room in which Jane's uncle Reed died. While locked in, Jane, believing that she sees her uncle's ghost, screams and faints. She wakes to find herself in the care of Bessie and the kindly apothecary, Mr. Lloyd, who suggests to Mr. Mrs. Reed that Jane be sent away to school. To Jane's delight, Mrs. Reed concurs. Yes, so Jane Eyre was an orphan, any, no father, no mother, and she has been raised by uh, her uncle's wife. Her uncle's wife. And then one day a problem happened with her. She locked her in a basement. And then after she wake up, uh, uh, someone who suggested to this woman, to Mrs. Reed, to take Jane here and put her in a school to get rid of her problems and her troubles and this. Okay. 
thank you, Lujain. Nancy, read, please. Nancy, Nirvana. Once oh. at, the law Nancy, court, yes. at the Lawwood School, Jane finds that her life is far from idyllic. The school's headmaster is Mr. Bucklehurst, a cruel, hypocritical, and abusive man. Bucklehurst teaches a, do a doctrine of poverty and, privi and privi privation. privation to his students while using the school's funds to provide a wealthy and opulent lifestyle for his own family. Yes, so Mrs. Reed decided to take Jane and put her in this private school, but then found out that in, it's called Lowood School. And then the uh, the principal of this school, of Lowood School, his name was uh, Mr. Brockle uh, Hurst. Uh, he is a cruel, hypocritical, and abusive man. He doesn't give them food and he takes the money for himself for a, a, a wealthy and better style for he and him, his family. Uh, and on page 223, please open it. Here we will see the first meeting between Jane and Brocklehurst. This is the first meeting when Mrs. Reed took Jane I, I, to the Lord School. Okay, and there, and there, they, he, she will meet him for the first time. Okay. So open two, two, three. I want uh, Maya, Mariam, Muhammad. Yes, miss, just let me uh, open 223. Okay, open your book. Mariam, you are Jane. Mariam, you are Jane. Yes, miss. Yes, Mariam, you are Jane. And uh, Maya Brocklehurst. Uh, sound, it is only one sound, I will say it. Okay. Uh, Linda, read the making connection, read from the about the two points. From the PowerPoint? Yes, uh, no, uh, from the book 223. Uh, the following is an, ex, uh, is an excerpt of a radio adaptation of the novel uh, Jane Eyre. Eyre, Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre. As you read it, think about how the writer transformed the book by adding elements typically found in a radio play. Yes, uh, Jane Eyre has been made into many movies, many versions of movies, and uh, radio uh, also uh, series. Okay, so uh, Jane, start Jane. Hey, Mariam? My name is Jane Eyre. I was born in 1820, a time harsh change in England. Money and position were all that mattered. Charity was cold and disagreeable word. As a child, I had no one, only an aunt, and I could not remember even once did she speak a single word of kindness to me. When I was ten, she sent me away to school to a place called Lowood. Sound, I would say, okay, door closes, okay? This is sound, so this is what you hear. In a radio birds, you hear all the sounds because they do not move in the radio. They sit on a table and they... Uh, recite the script, okay? They do not move. You do not watch them, you just hear them. So uh, a, a sound of door closes. Maya? What do you want? I'm the new girl, sir, Jane Eyre. You are aware, you are aware of my identity, Eyre? They told me you are Mr. Brocklehurst, sir. That is correct. I am the supervisor of this institution. Excuse me, sir. I thought this was school. Lowood is a refuge, air, a refuge for paupers and orphans who but for these portals are without homes. Here we give everything. In return, we demand nothing short of absolute obedience and humility. I've tried to be a good girl, sir. You have tried only to torment your poor aunt from what she told and what uh, and from what is really observed. You are a wakeled and worthless child. That isn't so. In all the earth, there's there's no sight so terrible as a wicked child. But I promise, all wickedness will be driven from you here. Er. Yes, sir. Get to your knees. We shall pray together for the salvation of your soul. Grand transition. So Jane 
her first meeting with the principal of the school, Brocklehurst. She says to him, I'm Jane, I am uh, the new girl here. And he says to her, um, he says to her, uh, look, it's not a school, it's an institution. I am the principal for this institution. Uh, girls, I'll excuse you for a second. I have to open the door. Second, one second. I'm back, girls. Hello? Girls, yes. are you with me? Okay. Yes, sir. So he says to her, I'm the principal of the institution, and Lowood is a refuge. Okay? A refuge for poopers. Poopers are poor people and orphans, those who do not have parents. Who? But those portals are without homes. Here we give everything in the return. We demand nothing short of absolute obedience and humility. Obedience. And again, he says to her, you have tried only to torment your poor aunt, Mrs. Reed. From what she told and from what is readily observed, you are a wicked and worthless child. Okay. Before we move on, I will show you a video of this meeting. On YouTube. But before we move on, let's tell you or no, let's show you the video first. Wait a minute. Here is it. I'll share for you the 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 genre has been made into, as I said to you, many versions. Here is it. In 2011, 19, 30, 73. Uh, Grace, we uh, we understand that excerpt we read now or the dialogue we read now it was in the radio not in the movie but i wanted to show you the scene so you understand more the the girls do you hear yes 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 This is the little girl respecting whom I applied to. Her size is small. What is her age? Ten years. So much. Your name, little girl? Jane Eyre, sir. Well, Jane Eyre, and are you a good child? Perhaps the less said on that subject, the better, Mr. Brocklehurst. I am sorry indeed to hear it. No sight so sad as that of a naughty child, especially a naughty girl. Do you know where the wicked go after death? They go to hell. And what is hell? Can you tell me that? A pit full of fire. And should you like to fall into that pit and be burning there forever? No, sir. What must you do to avoid it? I must keep in good health and not die. How can you keep in good health? Children younger than you die daily. I buried a little child of five years old, only a day or two since. A good little child whose soul is now in heaven. It is to be feared that the same could not be said of you, were you called hence. I hope that sigh is from the heart. So and that you... girls, now uh, we will not continue the movie because this is not the main excerpt, but this is, this is just to open your mind to the scene. 
Was it like you expected? Like you imagine Jane and the principal? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, if you read it in a book as we read now, and then you hear it in the radio, and then you watch it in a movie, what are the differences? Uh, while reading, I thought she'd be older, but turns out she's yes, young. Yes, me too. Mm. I thought she'd so be So, start, uh, Lujaina, start with the older, that you imagine that Jane was older, right? Yes. Yeah, Linda? Yes, I said me too, I thought she was older. Uh, both of you thought she was older. Any other differences, girls? Miss, I imagine... I didn't... Yes, Noor? I imagined her not like this, like a different person. A different person, like how? Like uh, she have brown hair. I imagined her. She has blonde hair. Uh, in her uh, appearance. Miss, I didn't her. imagine that her her aunt is with her. That oh. she is alone, and uh, mm -hmm. I imagined the uh, headmaster is fat, and uh, like not nice. I will tell you, I will show you something. There is another video. Wait. Uh, you still see my PowerPoint? Here is no, another. No. Okay. Here is another version. جديد من كادبري شوكولاته كريمي غنيه بين بسكوتين كادبري تشوكو ساندويتش لازم تجربها Managing your projects should feel more like this That's why you need ClickUp With ClickUp that all liars Then had a hand to give yes. it like a biscuit Okay so this is our next slide this one that Jane Eyre and the, why am I so interested of Jane Eyre? Because it is one of the greatest classics, Chris. Nice. Oh, yes. Why did he say that she's a liar? Um, uh, events in the story, and it is not our main purpose, okay? Yani, I just wanted to show you how the was the treatment at, uh, at Lowood. Okay, read, Yanur. Read this, the slide. At Lowood, Jane befriends a young girl named Helen Burns, whose strong Marty-like attitude toward the school's miseries, miseries is both helpful and displeasing to Jane. A massive type, typhus epidemic sweeps Lowood and Helen dies of consumption. The epidemic also results in the departure of Mrs. Uh, Mr. Buck Bucklehurst by attracting attention to the insalubrious condition at Lowood. After a group of more sympathetic gentlemen take Bucklehurst place, Jane's life improves dramatically. She spends eight more years at Lowood, six as a student and two as a teacher. Okay, so this was the summary of... Uh... Uh, Jane here, and this is the, her friend that helped her. Okay. Okay, so we go back to our main uh, question on page 223. He wants you to tell him how was this script different from a book? Why there is bold face? Why there is parentheses? Why? Why do you think there is? Uh, bold miss, face the main face? idea is the same, but there is a lot of different things. Yes, Huda, why there is a bold, uh, bold? Why young Jane is written in bold, Brocklehurst written in bold? Uh, because it's uh, the person that's... Yes, to highlight the... Uh, Jane is the girl that's, uh, that's the main character, and uh, Brocklehurst Shuhadaka is the uh, master head. <laughs> Shuhadaka, okay. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> Dima, what do you think of the dialect, Dima? Is it different than uh, the novel? It's uh, summarized. It summarizes the novel in a simpler way. Yes, yes. Okay. And what about parentheses, Linda? Parentheses? Okay, it is used 
to give extra detail. Extra detail. Are you here, girls? Yes. Yes, miss. Okay. Miss? So, yes. Miss, the mic and body. It's okay, Hafiz. It's okay. So, we go back to page 222, and now we can apply it to what we've just uh, read and seen. We go to 222. Two. Okay. Are you with me? Yes. Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Okay. Uh, so, Serena, read Serena. Read page 222. Miss, I'm really and my aunt have. Uh, okay. um, I will read. Okay, wait here. Uh, I want to, those who are not, uh, I don't read this. Miss, you don't hear my voice? I, I heard. No, 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 I heard today, Serena, but because you did. <laughs> Don't take it like that. Uh, Gala, is Gala here, girls, or she has left our school or what? No, she's here. Besides, I don't know she, why she's not replying. She, did, did, does she reply to other teachers? Maybe Miss Hamnet or something. Okay. Uh, Taya. 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 Judy. Yes. Yes. Judy, read it. Judy, two, two, two. Uh, analyzing an interpretation. This one. Yes. A uh, preview concepts. In this chapter, you will be analyzing how the author uses characterization, events, conflict, and the resolution of the conflict to communicate to communicate the theme. Mm -hmm. so the following diagram. Yes, and this foil for a uh, diagram. In the diagram, we see the theme. And from the theme, Judy, what are the four arrows? Conflict, setting, character, and resolution. Yes. Is the yes. So the the conflict we discussed it. What is the central problem facing the character? The character is what is the character like? How does he or she respond to the conflict? The resolution. How does the conflict end? Setting. Where does the action take place in so we start from the setting conflict character and resolution again yes um tia she is on hold okay okay uh, hold it you mean she didn't enter no she like she's in the class but it's written hold like there's something went wrong in her okay. connection okay so uh, so before we start in here we, before we start this let's go to your break five minutes break and we meet after the break Bye. Bye. Okay, bye. 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 bye.